In mergers and acquisitions, you'll commonly see something called a material adverse event clause. What this is, is it's something that allows the buyer to back out of the deal if something bad happens to the target company before the deal closes. So let's say if the buyer offers $5 billion to acquire this target, and then before the deal closes, the target gets hit with some multi-billion dollar lawsuit or some negative information, and the buyer says, you know what, I'm just going to walk away. I'm not going to I'm, I'm not gonna pay $5 billion for this target. I don't, I don't want to merge after all. So here's an example from, from an actual set of companies. So this QAR Industries, uh, they wanted to acquire TSR, okay, and they offered $6.25 and 25 cents uh, per share and this was so this was a cash deal uh, that, that was being proposed and okay, so this is the letter of intent and then I, I went and took a look at the term sheet which by the way I'll, I'll have a link to this in the description section of this video and in the conditions of the term sheet you see that one of the conditions is no material adverse changes in the company's business assets results of operations that's like their income loss uh, properties condition all these different things so basically they're saying listen we are making this offer we want to acquire tsr but it's going to it's not like we're going to acquire them today this is going to take months and so forth and if something bad happens if they post some huge loss or they get hit with some lawsuit or some some information comes to light something adverse comes to light some information that's bad we have the opportunity to say you know what we're not going to pay 625 a share we're going to back out of the deal and again i'll put the link uh, to this in, in the description section if you want to look at the term sheet and check this out more